Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about Lalafell discrimination. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This story starts when I was going through the final part of ARR at level 47 after rescuing Minfilia. I was underleveled for the Operation Archon quest, so I was doing some side quests and leaves to get to 49 when I found a group of people shouting in Gridania for FC recruitments. I just bought the game at the time, so I was able to join a free company. I liked the game so much, I couldn't wait to finish the free trial to buy it. I talked to the group, a girl, let's call her Mia, and her boyfriend, Leo, and a friend of theirs, John. They ran a small FC, with the three of them acting as leaders. After helping me with leaves, they sent me a link to their Discord server and I joined the voice call with them and other three people. Then they invited me to do roulettes and got the level I needed to continue the story. While in the Discord voice call, they asked me to read the rules on the server and I agreed. Pretty standard stuff, respect everyone, don't cause drama, and no not safe for work things. I didn't know about the, you know, not safe for work mods or anything at the time, so I thought it was about the kind of lewd glam that the game has, you know, like the coral briefs. <laughs> so innocent and pure. The next day, they were taking pictures and invited me to join the voice call. They posted their pictures to a screenshot channel that they had, and I did the same. I didn't have much to show off besides the polar bear mount from the current summer event. This was in 2021. Oh, I got that mount too. So I posted a picture I took before joining the FC. They said it was nice and then started giving me a talk on mounts and that one day they would help me get these mounts. That night, Mia told me she deleted the picture I posted because I'm a Lala fell. I was confused. I was wearing a woolen vest and the healer culottes, so there couldn't be anything wrong with it. Mia said it was part of the rules, but I wasn't wearing anything suggestive, just a woolen vest and shorts. I asked Leo, her boyfriend, who was the only one in the voice call at the time, what could possibly be wrong with the picture. He said that because I'm wearing shorts, I'm showing legs. How's that lewd? I asked, and he told me to do what she says for now. Leo sounded very stressed. I thought they had an argument and that was the reason why she was acting this way. Because she deleted other pictures, I didn't see it as a personal attack and moved on. The next day, I got to level 50 and finished the base ARR and geared myself with the Daystar healing set. That one didn't show any legs, so I posted pictures exploring Mordona after unlocking Flight, riding the cute polar bear. Minutes later, Mia deleted all my pictures and called a meeting on the voice call with me, Leo, and John. She asked me not to post pictures of my character, or else we would have troubles with Discord TOS. I told her there was nothing wrong with the picture, that I posted many as such on the official Final Fantasy XIV Discord server, and in there you can see many pictures of all races wearing stuff that showed a lot of skin. Leo and John were silent and she was starting to lose her chill. You're 17 and a lalafell. We're older and know better, so please behave, she screeched. I'll be 18 in two months. What about then? I asked. Leo stepped in and said, Look, buddy, we like you and we just want to have fun with you, but there are things about the game you don't understand yet. Mia then said that things should be kept the same after I turned 18. The whole situation felt more weird when John offered me a Fantasia potion to change my race as I already used the free one to darken my skin color a bit. I immediately left the voice call and the free company. A couple of days went by and I saw another recruitment shout. It was something between the lines of, We have a mansion, we're playing since 1.0 and we have memes. They had me at memes and asked if there was a problem with me being a Lalafell. The guy said, of course not. We have a Lalafell in our ranks. But, oh, I guess you had one of those experiences. I was intrigued and met with the guy at the Aetherite for the invite. He then showed me the house, a mansion in the mist. The other members explained they wanted to revive the FC 
and that it had been inactive for a long time. The FC list had names that had been offline for nearly eight years, but they didn't want to pick them because they are legacy characters whose names appear in ARR credits. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I like the idea of this museum of character names kept to preserve the memories of 1.0. I talked about my previous FC experience and the leader then explained what had intrigued me before. One of those experiences he mentioned earlier. He talked about the not safe for work mods and when Yoshi P gave players the talk on this matter and how people decided to ignore Yoshi P's warning of using them and only consider it for Lalafell mods. So it's okay for players to do illegal things to the game, but not when it's for Lalafell? I jokingly said. Everyone laughed and nodded in game. I don't care what people do on PC. I play on console and just want to do fun stuff. Be cute and annoying, I said. Like a true Lalafell player, the other Lala guy said. I felt so welcome in this free company. And I stayed, even as everyone who tried to revive it went back to play Final Fantasy XI. It was a sad time, but the previous leader trusted me enough to keep their legacy going. The company was transferred to me. I am now the new leader. I still keep the nearly a decade offline members because I promised to do so. But it has become a big issue to recruit new members. They see those names and the offline time and lose interest to stay. But after a year of playing this game, I realized I don't need an FC to form a community. Because I'm a Lalafell though, it's a bit hard to accomplish that. I noticed that Lalafell and Rothgars tend to be outcasted because other players often say Ew, children! Or Ew, furries! As a result, these players tribe up, forming groups with players of the same race. One night, while stepping into a venue, I found one such group. Two parties of Lalafells being silly and annoying. It wasn't malicious, so the venue owner didn't oppose to this Lala raid. I was genuinely flabbergasted because this was a not safe for work nightclub and nobody was against these people in there. I had already been kicked out of bars for being a Lalafell. But here it was all fun and games and I actually joined them. There was a silly initiation that required me to drink hot chocolate and eat a cookie while getting a head pat. Turns out they did this very often. They were dedicated role players and often visited venues as a group. I hung out with them every night, and once again, I felt part of a community. Until I didn't. After two weeks, something weird happened. The group was getting smaller, and the original members used Fantasias to change to other races. Then they stopped talking to me and the other Lala fell. They blocked me, and I didn't know anything about them for some time. Recently, I learned that some of them were doing unspeakable things to other players, and engaged in weird activities. Some of them were part of an anti lalafell movement on Aether. I thought they changed to a lalafell to lure out other lalafells to be rude and toxic to them after being nice and welcoming, but it wasn't the case. They all started the game as a lalafell. The things they actually wanted to do wouldn't have the same impact playing as that race. wonder what it, what it is. I couldn't understand why people acted this way. I just wanted to belong somewhere, find a place with similar like-minded people. Just when I was giving up on that, I met this Lala guy who was always in hunt trains and S-rank hunts. He complimented my glam once. I tried really hard with that one, clearing many types of content to complete it. And that's how we started talking. I was excited to have the attention of an ultimate raider. He had many ultimate weapons. He added me as a friend, and one day I decided to visit his house. In there he was hanging out with other Lala guys. They looked like a boy band, which was pretty funny. Some of them were very low level, alt accounts from other data centers. The group kept growing once data center travel was released, as we didn't need to make alt accounts anymore. We created a cross-world link shell on every data center we hailed from, and also Discord server. I always struggled to find my place in this game, but I finally found where I belong. And it's not a free company. 
not even a single data center. It's with these people with whom I've shared good and bad times. People who I can play with, with whom I managed to clear Savage, which was impossible for me because nobody could be so supportive and patient as they are. I was lucky enough to get a small house in Imperium and I created a place for other Lollafells to hang out. It has a very low ceiling in brackets. We improvised a soft opening and it was a roaring success. Our community keeps growing and fortunately so far we haven't met any shady person doing things that would make Yoshi P cry. These are my people and together we can be cute, silly, and annoying Lollafells. Aww. I'm so glad he made a home for all the Lollafells. But something he always wanted and something that maybe a bunch of other Lollafells wanted. You know, I really wanted to feature the story because when I came into Final Fantasy XIV, I also thought like Lollafells were pretty cute. But then, of course, as you meet, you know, other players along the game and, you know, some friends, there are definitely people who like joke about it. And I don't know if they're joking or if they're serious about like the ew, Lala, I hate Lollafells. But whether it's serious or joking, I'm sure Lollafells get annoyed by it. So... In the end of the day, try to be nice to the Lollafells. I like them, I do. But of course, yeah, not every Lollafell is like that sort of Lollafell that you're thinking of with your dirty mind. And not every Rothgar is a furry, you know? Maybe they just want to be that race because it's funny and cute. Oh man, I get so much hate as a Lollafell from Big Rose mostly. Aww. Oh, it's the wah voice that you hate, Iron? True. I mean, some Lala's do spam that. Wah! Wah! Sometimes it is really adorable and cute, I do admit. But if it's a lot, I'm like, oh my god, no, stop it now. <laughs> when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV, a common feeling that we all have is we all want a home. We all want a place to be, whether it's an FC, finding a group of friends. I was like not in an FC for a while and I'm like I think it's just about accepting that it's okay to be alone sometimes. Everyone goes through it. Not everyone has a home home within the game yet. Like we enjoy the game but we we haven't found like an amazing group of players or friends yet maybe. I think I found like a nice small group right now. My friends in this game like we're not in the same FC. We're all from different data centers. But we still, you know, have a good time in the game. We don't have to be together. But yeah, sounds like there's a little bit of race discrimination in Final Fantasy XIV. That's that's sad. It feels like it's a little bit of a culture. Like, I've heard it a lot. Like the ew, Lala. It, it's, it's a funny thing at the start when you hear about it. But then I never really thought about, like, being in the shoes of a Lala fell. Like, how annoying would that be after a long time just hearing that? Who could hate Lala? There's definitely people. There's people who hate cat girls too. They're like, you look like a generic character in the game because a lot of people are cat girls, right? Yeah, it gets really annoying after a while. Aww. The poor Lala's out there. The poor Rothgar's out there. Don't deserve the hate. Unless they're really actually weird. <laughs> There's weird people in every race uh, in the game, so... Lala's are the best. Don't at me. No, I swear, like a lot of new players end up being Lala's because they're so cute. And it's just like, why not be a mini version of yourself in the game, right? Oh, I wanted to mention that thing in the story about that girl, like always taking down the photos of the Lala fells. Just simple photos of the Lala in the game. No mods, nothing. Just a normal in-game picture of a Lala. And then the FC leader taking it down from the screenshot section like I think I think that's pretty weird if you're playing Final Fantasy any screenshot from the game should be acceptable like that's just part of the game and yeah the guy was 17 or 18 but like that's kind of more gross on your end to think that other people are looking at the Lala fell picture that way there's only a problem if you make it a problem in my opinion let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg slash Patra. And if you would like to support the content by tipping, feel free to join and become a YouTube member with some perks.